Istanbul guys to be specific to Istiklal street which is a very long and big shopping street here one of the most famous places for tourists obviously uh, as you can see it's very very busy even during the week and today's objective is to find my Nepali love uh, as you already follow me for a while you know that I love Momo which is the traditional Nepali dish which I really like and love and I didn't have it since I left Nepal so it's time for us to find the right place to get that experience again and I found one place which is actually very near here we have to pass this way get out from the crowd and get to the place which we are looking for so I found a really good rated Nepali restaurant and uh, it should be just somewhere right in these corners let's see how things gonna go let's see if we're gonna get the same experience of uh, Nepali Momo as I had in Nepal it might be one of these uh, streets I think a little bit further and it will be on the left side these are some streets here uh, next to Istikla where you can sit have a tea and shisha and coffee it's, uh, you can avoid the crowds if you just skip one street and you get into somewhere very very nice so I think it should be yeah here we go this is the street which I've been looking for and I can already see the sign it says Nepal Everest kitchen that's the name of the business and let's see what's expecting for us check this out look what we have beautiful Nepali love momo and we have a soup momo as well we have a biryani we not gonna do that they have a chowmin too but our goal is to get momos people always tell me it's not momos it's only momo there is no plural version but I keep always saying momos please was the good food Okay, enjoy guys. Nepal Everest Cafe. Merhaba, kolay gelsin. Nasılsınız? İyi. Ben video çekebiliyor muyum? Ne için? YouTube. Tamam. Tamam, teşekkür ederim. So we have the approval to get a video. Maybe I sit uh, somewhere here. Look at this. They have a nice little balcony here where you can smoke stand and sit the views are not so hard opening but not too bad we have some uh, Buddhism flags up we have uh, pictures from Nepal and uh, this is the place which I have been uh, when people die that's where they burn them and then uh, ashes goes to the water it's actually in near Kathmandu and this is something like uh, game build up beautiful and we have the nepali flag uh chef is ne nepal dan mı konuşabiliyor muyuz çağırayım ben ha yok ben gelirim ben buradan konuşuyoruz hi how are you bro good, good? Oh, you are from you? nepal right yes and which part uh, Kathmandu. Kathmandu, nice. I've been to Kathmandu. I've been almost anywhere in uh, in Nepal. I am here for my love, ne uh, Momo. I love Momo. Do you have good Momos? Yes. Okay. I would love to have Momo, and I will have uh, one Cola Zero. Yeah. Which Momo, sir? Beans, Mo chicken, mutton. Mutton. Uh, mutton is the goat, right? Yes. Okay. I will try goat. Yeah, first time because you don't have buffalo here. Buffalo. No. Before we have. No. Okay, goat. Okay, I will have a goat, please. Sure. Uh, so, how many pieces comes? You you have the steamed soup or? Uh, uh, I want steamed, normal, steamed. yeah, original version, please. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how many pieces come? Ten pieces. Ten pieces, perfect. And one cola zero, and that's it. With lemon, Thank please. Thank you. All right. We have the chef from Nepal, which means uh, we are definitely gonna have a nice experience. 
but uh, we'll see. Of course, eating uh, real momos in Nepal cannot be the same as anywhere else in the world, but uh, at least we have the chance to get the momo. Yeah. It's not so such a common thing, it's not like a pasta pizza that you can get anywhere, so very exclusive. And uh, this restaurant, I'm gonna give you the full name of it, uh, which is has actually really really good ratings and if you go come to this place or if you want to find it it's called Nepal Everest kitchen and has a 4.8 rating out of like 473 reviews which is great and there are also some pictures you can have a look um, yeah they offer any Nepali food you are looking for even biryani and uh, other Chinese dishes but for me the most important is moment all right this is the atmosphere in the restaurant I think pretty cool quite uh, very quiet right now so but it's in a touristic area so if you are around here come check it out and I will show you the MoMA experience and how everything goes see you in a while we are going inside the kitchen I can come right yeah. is it okay all right oh this is the magic area where everything happening he has a nice station we have all the veggies here there's the frying pan and what are you cooking this, uh, baked fried rice fried rice all right nice and the legendary momo almost ready they are using this uh, steam machine the water is boiling underneath and steam goes up and that's how the momos are getting cooked and it's time for us to get the service so we are having goat meat how did you call it mutton mutton mutton momo mutton momo right so this is gonna be my first time trying mutton momo i hope you feel good. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> I'm here to test it out. So far looks great. So you do everything from scratch. You yes. do the dough, meat, yes. everything. Well done. So we already have three, six, eight and two pieces more are coming. Alright, that's basically ten. Thank you. Ten. If you want no, no, no, no, no, no, no, 10 is already enough. Thank <laughs> you, brother. You can eat it for me. And uh, I guess you made a special sauce yeah. too? All right. So this is his uh, little station where all the magic is happening. And this is the peanut sauce or what sauce? Is tomato uh, sauce? Uh, sesame seeds. Sesame seeds yes. sauce. All right. I hope you like it. Yes, of course, bro. Don't worry. I will tell you at the end. <laughs> Nepali people are always very, very nice. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Very kind. Beautiful. Thank you very much. What was your name? Sanjeev. Santi. Sanjeev. Sanjeev. Yes. Sanjeev. Nice to meet you, Sanjeev. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's go, guys. This is how our food presentation looked like. Fantastic, to be honest. I have to definitely take a picture of it for the memories. We have a grape right here. We have a cucumber, carrots, which is shaped like heart. That's uh, very nice. And uh, we have the mutan momo. We have exactly 10 pieces, we have the sesame uh, seeds sauce and we have a nicely packed cutlery here, let's uh, find the pork. Alright, let's uh, have a look at this, it's gonna be quite hot because it's just got cooked, but I wanna show you the inside how it's gonna look like, but first we have to give a big bite to this. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> oh, teşekkürler. Thank you. Salam. All right. Let's uh, let's go for a big bite. It's 
just. And this chili sauce. Really ah, not chili. Spicy. Not chili. Ah, Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, she was bringing chili sauce. This is a real explosion of all this um, amazing taste and spices and everything. And the meat, super smooth. The momo is great. I'm gonna use actually my hand to hold the momo. Or maybe not gonna be the right way to eat. But uh, let me let me cut it. And sometimes people don't know what's momo. <clears throat> Basically, the explanation of it is that it's stuffed with meat inside and some herbs and spices, and outside it's just a simple dough. It gets cooked on a steam. They are using this type of uh, sesame sauce. Uh, sometimes they can also have a peanut sauce and uh, just dip it in, in. So much protein, the small carb as well. So it's super fulfilling. In, in Nepal, you would pay like one dollar, sometimes even less than one dollar for to get like 10 pieces. I'm not sure what, the, what are the prices here, but we're gonna check it out, but it doesn't matter. I'm very happy that I have the test of Momo in Istanbul. Mm. This is definitely so good. And when I was in Nepal, people were always telling me, Momo and the Coca-Cola combination is the best. So you should try it out and that's what I'm going to do as well. So we have a Cola Zero here, which goes perfectly with Momo. So this is not a new combination for me. I already tried it out and yeah, fantastic, really. Food is amazing, so we have to say a big thank you to the chef. And if you are in Istanbul, you wanna, if you're tired of Turkish food, um, you want to find something new, just bring memories from Nepal, if you have been there of course, or you just want to try it out first time, come check it out, it's great. Alright, I'm going to eat it and then I'm going to see you later for the payment part, we're going to say thank you to the chef and we connect later. See you. The mission is accomplished and I also took my time to write a review and this is what I wrote fantastic food by fantastic Nepali chef don't miss Everest taste and I also attach my picture five stars for sure <clears throat> and their rating still 4.8 and uh, it cannot get better than that I mean it can get 9.4.9 but for a restaurant 4.8 is already a very impressive number considering so many reviews and for a reason <clears throat> the momo was great, the chef been amazing, so I have to say thank you and also hey, I want to see how much uh, our experience costed us, let's check it out. Çok teşekkür ederiz, thank you so much. Uh, how much is the bill? How much is the momo only? In in Nepal, it's one dollar. <laughs> How was your experience, sir? Ah, oh, it was amazing, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. It was great. Very competing with the Nepal experience. Uh, no, not so different, I think. Thank the, you so the much. Special, the sauce was great. It was an explosion of test. Uh, amazing. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I. Yeah, Star, sure, uh, you have phone? I write it down. So how much is the momo itself? Uh, Motor momo is uh, 200. 200 lira, yes. all right. So we pay 255, all right. Uh, I I have lots of Nepal videos, if you want to check it out, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's yes, an option. Okay, I will answer. So D-A-B-U-D, not David Beckham. No, <laughs> but it's close enough. I'm not so famous on your phone, bro. Ah, here you go. I have it. D A V U D. This is my account, and yes. in the link tree there is a YouTube channel too. You, so yeah. Uh, do you think you can hold my camera? Yes. Yeah. I pay you. Okay. It was two hundred fifty-five. Fifty-five. Yes. Yeah. That's a perfect deal. Yeah. Oh, my my wallet is here. So one. 
Thank you so much. Going the rest now. is for you. Thank you. Too. And let's say one more time thank you to the chef. Chef, uh, thank you so much. Do you have do you have any words to Nepal? Nepali people will be watching this. Anything you want to say? I miss Nepal, sir. Huh? It's already how many years? I have been six years. Six years. Oh wow, nice. So you miss home. Yeah. Nice, nice. All right. It was great, brother. I'm gonna deliver your missing and the message to the Nepal. And uh, there is a 300 lira here. Please, you can. Uh, I'm leaving it here. No problem, sir. Please, thank you. I, I wanna show Nepali people. I take care of Nepali people also in Istanbul. See you. All the best. See you. Nice to meet you. Teşekkür ederim. Çok teşekkür ederiz. Görüşürüz. Food great, service great, everything was good. Görüşürüz. Bye bye. Sağ olun. All right, guys. We did uh, our payment part, which I want to tell you exactly how much uh, that cost. I mean, for for the for the Turkish people, it's clear. It's 200 lira. I need to find my phone. Just give me a second. All right. So, in terms of the pricing, 200 lira, that was the Momo price, but we paid 255. So, here in Istanbul, that costed me seven dollars and a half, uh, which is good price still for, for the area. And uh, in Nepal, that would be like 1,000. But normally, I, I was paying, I think, approximately like a hundred sometimes 120 nepali rupees that would be like one dollar sometimes less than one dollar so yeah something that i was paying for one dollar in nepal and another side of the world getting the same experience for seven dollars and seven dollars a half uh, i think it's a perfect deal considering that you get a similar quality of the food amazing it's a uh, time for me to sign out slowly and i'm heading to the main street which is the touristic part is istikla street but yeah i'm gonna put the link of the restaurant in the comment section also description of this video if you are on istanbul in the center taxi area or istikla come check it out thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one Good afternoon guys from Istanbul. We are at the end of the Istiklal street here and this uh, old tramway, which is also called nostalgic tramway. Uh, it's basically the last station so they can take you from here all the way to the Taksim square, which is the end of this street in Taksim. And uh, there's a way to the left, which takes you all the way to Galata tower. And uh, in this area, you also have the place where you can take the cable car which is happens to be the second oldest metro system the first one is in london and the second one is actually right here uh, it only takes one minute and a half to do the one station to another and there are actually two stations only so let me let me show you we are not gonna take a right but i can show you how it looks like and and also this <clears throat> this cable car experience is also called time traveling which is really cool so this is the highest point it comes to and then takes you all the way down to uh, Karaköy area so to the ports and Iskeles basically where's the harbor and they're using kind of like a cable system there's only two vans, one goes down, one comes back down, up. So that's basically the concept behind it. Right now it's a high season, which means it's quite busy. As you can see, there are so many people are all around us. It's not surprising, there are over 20 million people living in Istanbul. So it's a normal thing. That to be surrounded by people all the time 
But Istanbul is huge, so which means that people are spread around the, the city, so not all of them are staying in the same place. And this place is more touristy too, so that adds up to the local people and people who goes to work and tourists as well. I'm gonna take you in this uh, video to a little cute uh, cafe, which I have been seeing a lot and uh, I really like and I would like to check it out. And no surprise, there are so many nice uh, cafes and cute places to sit in Istanbul. But uh, I want to take you to specifically to this one. And there's a specific type of a cookie, which I want to try and also show you. And when you are around here, come just come and check it out. So enough talking and let me show you around here. The food, everywhere is food in Istanbul, so you will never stay hungry in Istanbul, especially amazing coffee places, modern style where you can work and chill and read, call your friends, whatever. And there's a little square on the left side. <clears throat> and the cafe which I'm talking about is just in front of us, which we will get there in a while. And lots of art shops, print, books, some old books here, as you can see. And the place I am looking for is called Shirin Furun, which translates as Sweet Bakery. And this is the little cute nice place which I really like. As you can see from the outside everything looks super fresh and super nice. And uh, specifically this type of a cookie which I am gonna try actually. So let's go check out inside too. So many different cookies, so many treasures. Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. Nasılsınız? Ben lütfen bir çay alabilir miyim? Bir de acı badem. Lütfen, lütfen. Dışarıda oturacağım. Teşekkür ederim. So they also have a place where you can sit inside if you want air conditioning, and they have a nice uh, Instagram corner again called Shirin Fırın Bakery. It means sweet bakery in short and some mirrors on the wall and these are all the other type of bakeries you can find here I might try this one next time but when I am filming I eat I eat what I have to show you guys <laughs> so you have an idea what's going on and then when I'm not filming I would normally eat what I like so I just choose based on my will but I'm sure everything uh, is gonna be great here. So they have all different type of cakes here, different bakery. Yeah. What I wanna do actually, check out uh, what's the rating of this place. I have no doubt it will be high. Let's have a look. Çok teşekkür ederim. Sağ olun. Right. Teşekkürler. Siz her şey siz mi yapıyorsunuz? Evet, bizim. Güzel. Teşekkürler. So she's the one doing all the magic in the in the kitchen, <clears throat> and it's not so busy right now, which gives me the opportunity to show you everything, guys. Before we try out stuff, I wanna see the rating of this place, and also I can show you exactly where it is located. But once you are here yourself. Check it out and let me know what you think if you come to Istanbul. It's not too far and it's a little bit hidden place. It's not like in the main street, so uh, it is gonna be somewhere here. Uh, let's search for it. Shirin. Ah, yeah, it's the one. So it has a 4.4. So this is the current rating. It's called Shirin Foreign Bakery. And they also do the San Sebastian cake. 4.4 <clears throat> rating. And uh, I think it's a great, great deal. Is this the one? I think it's the one. Anyway, <clears throat> I will put it on the comments section and also description of this video. You can just check it out. So we have this uh, Aji Badem cookie, which is one of my favorite. I love to eat this in the Asian side, mostly in Kadiköy. 
but uh, it's basically made out of like it has a two pieces and it's made out of almonds so it's called almond cookie that would be the translation of it in Turkish it's called Acı Badem Badem uh, basically stands for almonds so it's basically bitter bitter almonds that, that would be the translation so it has a two pieces it's a uh, crunchy outside but once you crack it it's quite soft inside so inside part is soft and outside is a little bit crunchy uh, so many cars is passing just like I see them coming from the upper part and going down so which is crazy so let's try it out mm. quite good as you can expect it has the almond test and super fresh always buy it from a specific places because when you see that they wrapped it in the plastic bag or something it's normally not good so you should always go when it looks fresh and looks big and especially when actually they put uh, almond on the top those ones are really good ones and of course uh, typical Turkish tea which goes great with it too and this is gonna be basically our afternoon snack beautiful I'm gonna enjoy my tea and uh, this is my views where I'm sitting the cars are passing by from here sitting in a little cute chairs here there are some antique shops as well just in front of me I think this is another cafe actually where you can sit down as well and when you look down you have the views to to the down so from here it just goes down to the to the seaside to the water side so name of the place Shirin Shirin Furin Bakery all right I'm gonna enjoy my food a little snack and I'm gonna take you more places around here guys see you in a while are you filming YouTube videos? Yes, I do YouTube videos, uh, yes. So, I, I, I can follow you? Yeah, of course, please, of see, course. This is our, uh, our place. This ah, this is your place, fa okay. Father's, uh, our father's place, yes. okay. It's only one place in Istanbul, or? Uh, th there is uh, our original Ah, the original, original one is different. Bigger place, Okay. Uh, uh, third left from here. Ah, okay, so uh, next to Galata. Uh, yes, near, near Galata. Near Galata, all right, so maybe that's the one I found actually uh, so this one is not this one this is different one Shirin Furun so they have actually two branches so this one is different ah this is next to Galata Tower but uh, with, with the view of Galata okay okay Tower. okay but this Google account is not is not this one this is different this is for Galata no, it's for, it's for both. Of ah, it's for both. So it's only one. Okay. So there's actually both. It's basically Shirin from Bakery, San Sebastian Cheesecakes. All right. I will uh, give you my name. You have your phone? Yes, I Yeah, I write it down for you. What's your name? Ali. Ali, mashallah Ali. Where are you from? Azerbaijan. Salam. Salam. <laughs> we also have a cat here. Hi, cats. Yeah, I love cats. <laughs> Everyone loves cats in Istanbul, no? All right. Uh, on YouTube, Instagram, whatever you like. So uh, let's do. Hey, tabi, tabi, tabi. So this is the this is my channel, Davuda Konzada. Right. Nice to meet you, Ali. Okay. Uh, can you can you? Instagram. Yes. Same. Davud. D A V U D. All right, guys. We connect with you later on. See you in a while.